Hi Survivors, it's me Purpose and reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not horrible. I want to talk to you all about these different notifications that I've been receiving on a daily basis in regards to food recalls, product recalls that a lot of us use on a daily basis. I know lately since, you know, all these agendas and and whatnot um and i see i get these notifications uh through so you guys can get them too. sign up for these notifications emergencymail.org they tell you everything from the weather in your area uh the different recalls all the news dealing with our you know like health if, if illnesses are surfacing they talk about more stuff than like the news do so i make sure that I do tune in when I get an alert, uh, not only so I will be informed myself, so I can also inform you guys as well. But more now than ever, I've been inundated. I'm talking about inundated on a daily basis about the different products in regards to food, medications, all types of things that have recalls on them. Y'all, I think since the beginning of this year and then when these when these recalls come y'all it'd be like long list like 50 100 pages of different products it's really scary it's terrifying since the beginning of this year in this country alone it's been probably over a million not even exaggerating of recalls that's how many products that that's that's just surfacing out here because you know these people they see that, that people are buying anything People will consume anything. People are eating the thing. They, 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 they don't even know what's in the ingredients, what's going on with it. They just consume stuff, buy stuff just to be buying it and consuming it. Don't know what in the hell is going on with it or whatever is in it. So this is the latest one. But um, that's why I, I, just, I, I try not to. Oh, this, this is the point I was trying to say. I, I even stopped buying toilet paper. Certain types of toilet paper, and I stopped buying um, uh, deodorant because that stuff get in your body, get in your skin. You don't even know what it is. I use baking soda for the deodorant. That sometimes I, I really don't even have to use it as much because I don't eat a lot. I eat one time a day, and usually what you put in your body that's what causes you to have like an odor or sweat or need deodorant and all that old crap mess, junk foolishness. So, I, you know, and then when I do eat, it's fruits and vegetables most of the time, man. I ain't putting no blood products and all that stuff and, and animals and all that in my body. Every now and then I might take some little chicken or fish or whatever. But uh, it's not like on a daily basis. So, I don't have to worry about odors, but I do work. I do exercise a lot. So, I use baking soda. And then as far as the toilet paper is concerned, I don't know if y'all remember when I went shopping and I was looking at the uh, ingredients of the products. Remember, it was a toilet paper, and it said how they use, they bleach it. And ever since then, I'm like, I hadn't even know about, I didn't even know about this. But this channel is such a blessing. Y'all don't know. Y'all think that I'll be a blessing. Y'all, y'all be a blessing to me because a lot of things, not only y'all teach me, but I have to do research and stuff before I come out here or, or if I'm live or if I'm in a store and, you know, I'm taking y'all shopping with me and I'm reading the products for the first time with some of them. You know, a lot of it that I'm not consuming and I find out about different ingredients, it, it uh, brings me to awareness too. Because I'm like, I never knew that they was bleaching toilet paper, man. And then we wiping ourselves, our private areas with this stuff, man. That's serious to me. And just like I also found out that mushrooms were being bleached in certain countries. And that kind of C-H-I-N-A. And then they bring that stuff over here. It's a lot of different foods are being bleached too. And it just don't make any sense, man. So, I mean, I use um, other things in that toilet paper. Now, I still may use some of it sometimes, but I, I, I stay away from, like, buying it like I was. And even if it's a rag or towel, I'm, I'm taking it back old school. I'm just being real. Y'all can say what you want. I don't have to do what everybody else doing out here. You know, i never been that type of person. I don't follow the crowd. I don't, because if you follow what everybody else doing out there, you're going to die just like I'm real, real soon and quick, fast in a hurry. Because they believe anything the TV tell them. They believe anything these people in the office tell them. They go stand in long, long, long lines to vote for people who ain't never did nothing for them, who ain't going to do nothing for them. 
So I don't follow all that crap, junk, mess, foolishness. It don't bother me. Not at all. I ain't never been one to care about what people say and roll around and do the same thing they doing. So this is the latest. I just want to bring this to y'all attention, man. Pay attention what you're feeding yourself, what you're feeding your family. Not only that, pay, t- pay attention to the products you're feeding your children and, and pay attention to the uh, other products that you might be buying. That you might, lotions and soaps and all that. Y'all, they've been having recalls on everything. I'm talking about everything. We got to go back to how it was when our ancestors were making their own soap, own soap, making their own clothes, you know, making their own uh, cleaning products. And when a lot of these products have got all these toxic chemicals and toxic stuff in it anyway. Now, this here say food safety alert, salmonella, I'll break link to cookies. Probably junk, miss, foolishness in the cookies anyway. Don't get me wrong, I like cookies, but I ain't ate them in a long time. That's how I make them myself. It says salmonella, I'll break link to cookie dough. Two hospitalizations, 18 illnesses, they say zero deaths in six states. Now, if they say it's two hospitalizations, that means 2,000. They say it's only 18 illnesses, that's, like, that's in the thousands. This is allegedly, y'all, but they, they lie so much. They don't want people to go into uproar. And then the company, they let these companies sell this stuff to these people and nothing happened to them. Contaminated food, chocolate chip cookie dough, s'mores, bars dough. Nine sick people reported eating raw cookie dough from Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza in the week before they got sick. Based on this information, Papa Murphy has temporarily stopped selling their raw chocolate chip cookie dough and raw s'mores bars dough. At least two sick people did not eat at Papa Murphy's. At least two sick people did not eat at Papa Murphy's. Investigators are working to identify the contaminated ingredient in the raw cookie dough. What you should do, check your refrigerator and freezer for Papa Murphy's. Watch this world, watch the weather, smell your water, boil your water for you. Watch what you're consuming and keep surviving. Purposeand.com.